Hey everyone, this is Rachel and welcome to another scrapbooking process video. If you hang out until after the video is through, there are always detailed shots of my current layout. Let's get going! Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of Product Placement, my series with Kelly Oblack. I am sorry, the camera is shaking right now because Xanthi is being obnoxious uh, and rubbing up against my tripod, so much apologies for that. Today, I don't know if you can figure it out, but the product we're going to be playing with are die cuts. So uh, I had actually, uh, someone had asked to do raw chipboard and I promise you we will get to it. I know I have a little bit, I'm not sure quite what Kelly has, so we're gonna have to talk about it before we uh, agree to do it. But <laughs> I had been doing another layout and I'd also been putting away some um, new random die cuts I have. You'll you'll see a video for that at some point. Um, not a video of me putting stuff away, but you'll see the layout I'm talking about uh, at some point. And it occurred to me I have way too many die cuts and I need to find a way to use them up. So I'm like, let's work with die cuts. And then I was thinking, oh, I could do like a rainbow thing. That's super popular right now. Hold on. Yeah, go in your box, please. Thank you. Ooh, okay. So what I did is I went through my red, my pink, my orange, my yellow, my green, my, my green and my aqua. I have my green and my aqua together. Uh, my green, my aqua, my blue, and then my purple folders of die cuts and pulled out some things that I might work. And I kind of played around with, did I want to do stripes? Did I want to do uh, stripes this way? And then I kind of got an idea to do a swirl. And I'm, I have this piece of white marshmallow cardstock and I'm thinking what I'm going to do is a bunch of mixed media in the same colors behind all of my die cuts. We'll see if this works. I have no idea. <laughs> but that's what my thought process is. So that's what I think I'm going to try out. So I'm gonna go ahead and get you guys put on fast forward. Before I do that, I do wanna say, make sure you head on over to Kelly's channel and check out her take on using die cuts on a layout. All right, as I said, I'm gonna get you guys put on fast forward and we'll see what happens. All right, folks, let's get going. Okay, before I get started, I do want to mention that this, as I mentioned before, this is marshmallow cardstock, which is a thicker cardstock. I did, however, go ahead and add a layer of clear gesso uh, because I'm going to be using a lot of watery mixed media as opposed to, say, uh, doing some ink blending or doing a packaging technique. I definitely wanted um, the colors to be able to mix, and for that to happen, I did need to add some gesso simply to give it a chance to not set into the paper. So I'm starting off with my red colored die cuts and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue them together as a section but not to the paper. And you can see I've jumped ahead here because it was just me gluing them in the exact same position they are. And then I'm going to go ahead and move on to pink. I am going to jump ahead after a bit because I'm basically doing the exact same thing. I'm placing the die cuts down in an order that works for me and then I'm gluing them together but not to the page. This works out really really well. I It broke in one place near the greens but so I just had two giant pieces and so here we go and with everything is finished and they're all glued to each other uh, minus that one break at the green leaf. It's funny because that's actually the part gets, that gets covered up on my photo. Um, so this worked out pretty well. It's a little squared off in places. That's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. Nothing ever is. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move that to another piece of paper so I can use it to visually see uh, to see as a visual aid uh, when I'm putting down my mixed media. So I'm going to start off, and I wrote all the, the names down. They're all Shimmers products. I'm starting off with Rose Gold Red, and then I'm going to Sweetheart. And then what I'm going to do is take this paintbrush and kind of meld the two colors together. And then tap my brush and do a little bit of misting. I'm then moving on to Sunset Strip. After I decided I needed one more spray of pink. And I am 
zhuzhing that down as well. I'm moving on to You're the Zest, which is actually one of my newest shimmers products I just got, which is why it didn't start spraying because I hadn't actually sprayed it yet. And so that one got a little away from me. It went a little, uh, not pear-shaped, but square-shaped. Uh, it's fine. I've got a larger piece there. I did get a little bit too much, so I just went ahead and grabbed a paper towel and just kind of dabbed at it. But I didn't like the texture the paper towel was giving, so I'm going to go after it. I decided to use two different greens because I didn't exactly have the green I was actually looking for. So I'm using Hermit the Frog and Velveteen Green, and then I moved into Jenny B Blue. And so I'm going to mix the three of those together and come up with the colors I am looking for. And then once again, I'm just going to tap it, and you can see Ms. Xanthi in there investigating the die cuts I put aside. I'm going to continue on with Rip Van Periwinkle and then finish off with Princess, which is my favorite purple that they have in the Shimmers vibes. And I think it's a vibes. It could be an inkling, not an inklings. What's it called? Um, spritz. That's the other way. So once again, I'm going over it with a paper towel. There's a little bit of muddy area going on, not massive bad, but just a little bit right in that center section. It got a little, a little muddy from the mixing. It's fine. It happens. That's, that's why we embellish. <laughs> so now I'm moving my die cuts back on. Uh, I like the way that it looks. And that's, that's where I got the little bit of, of muddiness. I was giving myself a little thumbs down. So now I've got it and now everything's all completely dry. And I'm placing it back. And what I'm going to use, I'm going to use my clear art glitter. Now, the company name is Art Glitter. It's Art Glitter Clear Glue. And that's what I'm going to use. If you're going to do mixed media, I definitely think you have to use a wet glue. Um, if I weren't just using die cuts, if I were placing paper down on mixed media, especially if you've gessoed it, you definitely need to use mixed media. Um, when I used Scotch Quick Dry, for some reason, it did not dry real well. So I would use a mix of ATG and the Scotch. I find with the Art Glitter Clear Glue, uh, it dries pretty quickly. So I don't have that same issue I had with the Scotch Tacky Glue. For whatever reason, for however they're made, that's just the truth. That's my truth or how I feel it turns out for me. Now, I'm going to do a little bit of weirdness. I'm going to add a layer of white acrylic paint. It's a little bright and a little in your face, and I just wanted to kind of blend it in more in the background. And this really worked. I'm sorry, my neighbor started mowing. I don't know if you can hear that or not. I don't know if my microphone picks it up, but I do apologize. I'm not going to go. It's very nice out here today. I don't want to go shut all my doors and windows. So I apologize if it's annoying. <laughs> Hopefully you don't really hear it. Okay, so I'm just continuing to add. Uh, when I was over in that red section, I added a little bit too much. I, you know, but unfortunately it's one of those things you can't unadd the white paint. So you live with it the way it is. So my whole thing behind doing this layout was that, oh, I got paint all over my hands. Uh, I had a particular photo in mind for this. Now, I'm going to talk about this while I speed through. I'm just going to do the exact same colors in a, a, a misting over the spiral. This, I have a picture of my nephew who is learning to drive right now. And so, one of the things he said to me, he's like, oh my gosh, you just have to think about so much all at once. And that's what really put me in the idea of this spiral with all the different die cuts and all the different, you know, uh, pieces that are going on in your head and all of that. So that's really where this entire design idea came from. So now, once again, everything is dry and everything is in place. So I then could not find the photo. So the photo that is superimposed over the photo on my screen is the photo that I will be using. I'm just going to have to reprint it because I have looked everywhere. I cut out the 45 minutes I went looking for this photo. And what's really weird is I know I had it because I showed it to my housemate trying to explain my idea behind this layout. And I feel like an idiot because I literally, I'm like, I don't know if I accidentally threw it away or if it accidentally, accidentally got stuck to a back of a paper or what, but it is gone. I've looked everywhere for it. Um, so I'm just using this photo 
in place of it so I can, it's got similar color tones. My nephew's wearing the same sweatshirt. So I'm just using that to uh, keep in place for my layers and stuff like that. So this is eight and a half by 11 paper. I got it at Michael's, oh my gosh, probably four or five years ago at this point. It was a best of Amy Tangerine stack. And it was, like I said, eight and a half by 11 paper, pattern papers from several of her earlier collections. So I'm doing three layers. I had that uh, pie chart multicolor one. I liked the idea of the just a little bit of those rainbow colors peeking through next to my photo because even though this isn't the photo, it's very similar with a lot of neutral tones to it. My nephew's skin tone, a gray sweater. Uh, in the in the actual photo, it's a gray car, um, a gray car interior. So. I did go ahead and ink the outside of that last layer just because it's very beige and I just wanted uh, separation more. And then I'm going ahead and I'm going to pop that up on craft foam. Uh, another way I like to put stuff over is using craft foam. For some reason, the foam sticks better to mixed media stuff than the actual paper. I'm going to keep the rest of this, shockingly enough, very simple as I really wanted to focus on those die cuts as it is what we're using this particular time around. And I know my title looks off. Um, that is a black foam thicker. I don't know what it's called. I do not remember what it's called. Um, but yeah, it's, it's kind of wonky with how I placed the words. I think I might go back and, and fix that up a little bit. So I'm talking about my nephew learning how to drive and just, you know, being overly cautious and having some anxiety about it, but that he keeps on trying and he keeps on working at it. And so he, you know, he's doing really well. Uh, parking, we're, we're going to, it's going to take a little longer. <laughs> the driving isn't so bad. Um, so what I'm going to do for embellishment beyond the die cuts is simply using three enamel dots in each of the color families around in the spiral. So I'm gonna put three red in the red area, three pink in the pink area, and so on and so forth. That is all I'm going to do, except I am going to go ahead and add some silvery gray misting at the end. So that's pretty much it for me. You're just gonna watch me place enamel dots. Thank you guys so, so much for joining me here today. If you could head on over to Kelly's channel and take a look at what she did for die cuts in our product placement series, that would be super awesome. All right, folks, once again, I am so happy that you joined me here each and every week. If you could flick me a thumbs up, that would be super awesome. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, everyone. And here I am adding that color. This is another new one for me. It is called Granny Gray, and it does a really great shimmery gray. And I'm like, oh, I need to cover my photo. And then I'm like, hey, dumb dumb, you can just move it because you never glued it down. <laughs> So I'm just doing a heavy smattering of that, and then I'm going to go ahead, add some ATG to the back of that foam, and then I'm going to pull the photo off, and I'm, the final photos will be with the photo off, just so you don't think, oh, that she decided to keep that. No, I did not. I will be scrapbooking that photo at some point, but just not now. All right, folks, thanks you so much. Bye.